Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fun with Flags video. Today, we're going to be learning about the history and meaning of the flags of German states. Now, Germany has this flag which we all know, black, red, and gold. But given that Germany is a federal state, like the US, each of its states has its own flag and its own coat of arms, sometimes related to the flag and sometimes somewhat different. There are 16 federal states in Germany, and I don't want this video to be too long and boring, so I'm going to do my best to summarize and only present the essential and interesting. Let's do this alphabetically. First, Baden-Württemberg. Their flag is this one, a bicolor black and gold slash yellow flag. It was created in 1952 after the merging of former German states which were divided due to different occupying forces after World War II. The flag is the same as the Habsburgs used in Austria, but this seems to be just a coincidence, as the colors are simply the gathering of Baden's yellow and red and the black and red of Württemberg. The lesser coat of arms is a golden shield with three black lions. The greater coat of arms is that, plus a crown with badges of the historical coat of arms of Baden, Württemberg, Ozollern, the Palatinate, Franconia, and further Austria, surrounded by golden deer and a golden griffin. A cool coincidence is that it has the arms of further Austria and its flag is the same as the Habsburgs, which ruled Austria. Next, Bavaria or Bayern. As we saw in an earlier video about the region, the blue and white losangs became a symbol for Bavaria when the duchy was attributed to the house of Wittelsbach, which ruled it for eight centuries. And the old ruling family's coat of arms remains until today as the coat of arms of Bavaria. The origin of the Lozangs in the original coat of arms is disputed. Some believe it to be representative of the lakes, rivers, or the sky of the region. It's the only German state with two official flags that are somewhat different. The main one is a horizontal bicolor white and blue, but the most well known the Varian flag is simply the pattern of the coat of arms. And so, both flags are historically associated with the Royal Bavarian Wittelsbach family. A fun fact is that the exact shade of blue has never been determined by law, and also the losangs are not set in number, except there must be at least 21, and the top left incomplete one must be white. Next, the capital city, Berlin. Berlin has a triple striped red and white flag with a black bear in its center. The current shape of the flag was adopted in 1954, but both the colors and the usage of the bear date way further back in history. Between 1618 and 1861, a bicolor of black over white was used as both a civil and state flag under Brandenburg and successive Prussian rules. From 1861 to 1912, it used a black, red, and white tricolor. And then, in 1913, it incorporated the bear into its flag, using variants of that until reaching the current form. However, despite only being implemented into the flag in 1913, the bear had always been a symbol for Berlin, as it's seen in its coat of arms. The bear is shown on Berlin's seals, coins, and rings as early as 1280, and in 1709, it was incorporated into the coat of arms along with the Prussian eagle and the eagle of Brandenburg. Eventually, it became the sole symbol for Berlin. Around it, Brandenburg, a red and white flag with the coat of arms in the center. The colors seem to come from the red eagle on a white shield, the coat of arms. This is the red eagle of the Margraviate of Brandenburg, which was adopted by Margrave Gero in the 10th century. There was another flag briefly in use, this red one with a white stripe, but only from 1945 to 52. In 1990, it reverted back to the traditional eagle one. In this seal of Berlin from 1280, we see the eagle in the center, surrounded by two bears, which, as we just saw before, represent the city. Next, the smallest German state, the free city of Bremen. Eight equal horizontal stripes of red, alternating with white, and checked at the hoist. It is colloquially known as the Speckflag, 
which means bacon flag. There's also a version with 12 stripes instead of 8, which contains the coat of arms awfully placed in the center. The lesser coat of arms shows a silver key on a red shield. The key is the attribute of Simon Petrus, the patron saint of the Bremen Cathedral, and it was first represented in the seal of the city in 1366. Officially, the coat of arms was confirmed by Napoleon in 1811. This is the only coat of arms featuring the historic colors of Bremen. The three Bs are derivatives of the Napoleonic Empire as part of the tradition of the Franks. Before and after the Napoleonic era, the red and white colors of the Hanseatic League were more important, which justifies its using in the flag up to today. At number 6 on our list, Hamburg. Hamburg is one of my favorite flags, to be honest, maybe due to its simplicity. The flag of the federal state of Hamburg is simply their coat of arms. It shows a white castle with three towers on a red field. The white and red colors are also associated with the belonging of the city to the Hanseatic League, which used these colors and have remained in the symbols of many of its former members up to this day. By the way, the Hanseatic League was pretty much a trade league in medieval times, which gathered a lot of northern German cities. The middle tower shows a cross on top, and the ones on the sides show Marian stars on their tops, which together with the cross remind us that Hamburg used to be an archbishopric. The towers and the walls with their pinnacles as well as the closed gate symbolize the determination of the town to defend itself. And what's incredible is that this has also been the symbol of the city since the 13th century. The first known seal is from 1241 and it shows exactly the same symbol as is used today. Next, Hessen. A red and white horizontal striped flag. The colors are based on the ones of the Ludovingian coat of arms, the old rulers of the region. The coat of arms was inherited by the House of Hesse upon its split from the Duchy of Thuringia in 1247 and remains until today as the coat of arms of the German state. There isn't much to this one, especially because it's very similar to one that's coming up on this list. Next, Lower Saxony. The flag of Lower Saxony consists of the flag of Germany with the coat of arms of the state, being adopted in 1952. Historically, it used white and gold and also red in the flag of Hanover. And it's also from Hanover that they get their coat of arms a white horse on a red field. The horse is a white Saxon steed. According to German folklore, the banner of Widukind, the last pagan king of the old Saxons, was a jumping black horse. And after the defeat of Saxony and his conversion to Christianity, the banner was changed to a jumping white horse on a red field in the 12th century. Moving to the state whose name I'm going to mispronounce the most. Mecklenburg Vorpommern. Their flag is kind of strange. It's a four color flag, blue, white, and red, but then having a yellow line through the center. It was chosen from five proposals in 1990, and its variant flag displays the two symbols of the state's coat of arms. The coat of arms itself consists of these symbols on a shield. It depicts the bull's head of Mecklenburg, used by early peoples of the region as a helmet in war. The Griffin of Pomerania, the shield of the ruling dynasty of the region, but also the Red Eagle of Brandenburg, which we saw earlier. Displaying an inverted Hungarian flag, North Rhine-Westphalia. But it has nothing to do with Hungary. The choice of green, white, and red is a merger of the flags of the Rhine province, green and white, and Westphalia's flag, red and white two former provinces of Prussia, which make up the region of the state today. Government authorities use the state flag, which displays the coat of arms. The coat of arms is the green and silver coat of arms of the Rhine province, which represents the river of the Rhine, a white horse on a red field, representing Westphalia, differing from Lower Saxony's horse because it isn't jumping, and the Rose of Lip. This was the coat of arms of the Principality of Lip, which was added to the state as a province upon its creation. The next two states also simply fly the German flag with their coat of arms on it. Rhineland Palatinate, 
places the coat of arms on the top left, representing the old medieval regions which now make up the state. A red cross for the old Archbishop and Prince Elector of Trier, the Wheel of Mainz, representing the Archbishop and Prince Elector of Mainz, and the crowned gold lion on a black field, representing the Prince Elector of the Palatinate. Saarland, on the other hand, is more in line with other German states, placing its coat of arms in the center of the German flag. The coat of arms has a common element with the previous one, the Golden Lion of the Palatinate, representing the district of Saarpfalz, which was previously a province of the Palatinate, and also the arms of Nassau Saarbrücken on the top left, Trier on the top right, and the Duchy of Lorraine in the bottom left. Now, stay with me because we're almost at the end of the list. Next, we have Saxony, a bicolor flag, white and green, which, as usual, has in its variant the coat of arms of the state, a green crancelin across 10 black and yellow stripes. This shield is said to come from the first Saxon count of the region, which achieved a ducal title in 1138. Another Saxony is Saxony Anhalt, who uses Saxony's coat of arms, but only in the top half of its shield, complementing it with the Prussian eagle and completing the bottom half with the shield of Anhalt, depicting a bear on top of a red castle. The flag is simply a yellow and black striped one, with the coat of arms permanently there, perhaps taking those colors from the stripes of Saxony's shield. At number 15, Schleswig-Holstein, a horizontal tricolor of blue, white and red. It's also a somewhat old flag, being introduced in 1843, used on and off and made as the official flag of the state in 1957. The meaning of the colors isn't certain, but this flag was previously used for the Prussian province of Schleswig-Holstein, so that should be the historical origin for it. Their coat of arms displays two sides. On the left, the lions of Schleswig, which were taken from the coat of arms of Denmark, which it borders. And on the right side, a red background with the silver nettle leaf of Holstein, an ancient symbol which had been in use with the counts of the region during medieval times. And finally, Thuring which flies a bicolor of white over red. Introduced with the formation of the state of Thuringia within the Weimar Republic in 1920, it is the reverse of the flag of Hessen, both flags ultimately reflecting the colors of the Ludovingian rulers of the medieval duchy, a flag which also happens to be identical to that of Poland. The coat of arms has essentially two main symbols, the lion and the stars. The stars represent the unification of the seven Thuringian provinces into the state. In fact, the arms of 1920 were these ones. Although this old shield had seven stars and the current one has eight, I'm not sure why. The lion is based on the Ludovingian lion, also known as the Lion of Hesse, which has represented these lands as far back as 1040 AD, when the medieval rulers of the area use the lion in their coat of arms. Essentially, it seems that most of the flags of the German states are inspired in either the colors of their coat of arms, which date back hundreds of years, or in old flags, which belong to former duchies and kingdoms of the region. In Europe, each country that uses the euro has its own back on the coins. An interesting fact is that in Germany, each state has its own symbols, reinforcing the autonomy that they have. And that was a brief overlook at the history and meaning of the flags of German states. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment below with your opinions, corrections and suggestions for future videos. I will see you next time.